Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I want to talk about parental control and business monitoring of a mobile device with iKey Monitor. <laughs> Following on from Kath's question a couple of weeks ago, where I discussed Kaspersky Kids, someone in the comments recommended iKey Monitor, so I thought I'd take a look at it. Up front, I did not actually download and install this software. Time is against me at the moment, so this is a run through using the demo that they have on their website. There's many dozens of hours of work involved in installing and doing a full review of a piece of software like this. And unfortunately, I simply don't have that time available. If that's the sort of thing you'd like to see on this channel, there's a donation link up here where you can contribute to the channel and hopefully we can one day make this a full-time effort and see lots more content here. Let's go and take a look. This is their website at ikeymonitor.com. I do like this little slogan they have, parental control and find out the truth. You can download the software here for free or view the online demo in a new tab. This is what you would see, I believe, if it was installed on a phone. In this case, it's an Android phone and it tells us when it was last processed, there's a license key, it's running Android 11, and the license is valid. But we can actually go through and see SMS logs, call logs, web history, all of the various chat apps, uh, GPS location, photos that have been taken, that sort of thing. Now, obviously, this is just a development version, that they've used, you know, there is, um, there's demo screenshots that they've added, they've used stock photography, all of that sort of stuff. But it's really interesting to see that, you know, all of these applications are monitored. And I'll be honest, some of these applications I've never even heard of. I don't know what IMO or Hiker, I'm assuming they're different chat apps. You can also see keystrokes, what's stored on the clipboard, screenshots that have been taken. Those are the logs, which is what we're seeing. Info, you can see contacts, calendar entries, reminders, any notes that have been made, voice memos, Wi-Fi history, which might be interesting for finding out where somebody is. You can search through the contents of the site, which will search through the contents of what is stored on the phone. You can manage the device, change client settings, and actually there are multiple devices included in the demo. So you've got an Android phone up here. You can also see what the content would look like on an iPhone. So the dashboard is basically exactly the same. In fact, they've used the same dummy data, pretty much. There's a few extra things. Um, alert words, they've alerted the word drink. Coming for a drink tonight, that sort of thing. So that is, so it's interesting some of the features that they actually pick up on. You can also look at different time frames. This is a custom range, obviously, for when the demo was done. There's also links here to check on the license, which isn't available in the demo. Download the software if you want it and get some help, which doesn't seem to exist in the demo. But it's interesting to be able to see what you would see if you were a parent looking at your child's device. One other interesting feature of this software is some of the plans that they have because they actually monitor for families, but they also monitor for business. So for family, if you're looking to be aware of what your kids are doing, there is a free version and you can upgrade to the fully featured version at $16.66 a month. Now I'm gonna assume they're probably US dollars um, and it gives you a list of all of the different apps that they support. The other business model that they have is you can run a business version 
at ten dollars per month per device, twenty plus required. So this is obviously if you're managing a big business, but want to keep tabs on what your staff are doing on their work mobile phones. So this is obviously a phone that you provide to your staff and you would actually run a iKey monitor server in your business and everything is recorded on the phone sent back to that server so it's not done through their website so they can't spy on your business. But if you have sales reps and that sort of thing and you're concerned that data might be escaping the business, this might be an interesting solution for that problem. On the compatibility tab, I found it very interesting to there's certain things you can and can't do specifically on Apple devices, depending on whether the phone is jailbroken or not. So without a jailbreak, you, you need physical access to install it. It pops up a login alert. You can check SMS messages, call history, websites visited, chats, WhatsApp, WeChat, Fiber, a bunch of different things. But there's also a lot of things on this list that you can't do. The iKey monitor with a jailbreak, you actually have to disable some of the features of iOS in order to jailbreak the phone, which will then give you a lot more options. Now, one of the things that this really does actually tell me is that out of the box, the Apple phone is actually really quite secure and doesn't really want to let you do this sort of thing. By comparison, the Android version compatibility, there is absolutely no difference that oh snapchat pictures uh, so you can only get snapchat pictures on a rooted android device or jailbroken the term is rooted on an android device regardless of whichever device or how it's done you must install it directly on the device with physical access and requiring all of the passwords required to install software on that device this is not some Mission Impossible software where you can just plug it into a little USB key for 10 seconds and it takes over the entire phone. There's a reason that's called fiction. Their homepage also gives a few stats about you know, what you can do. 65% of teens have been involved in a cyberbullying incident. I suspect it's probably higher than that. 82% of sex crimes involving a minor are initiated from social media. That's probably sadly true. 75% of children share personal information about themselves and their families online. That doesn't surprise me either. Kids will happily give out all sorts of information unless they're very well trained, which is sad because it's really important. The software is free to download and install, There and there is a free plan. Okay, I found the details for the free plan in the FAQ. What's the difference between the free plan and the full plan? The free plan monitors only call history, SMS logs, and GPS locations, and it saves only the latest 20 log items. And the full plan includes all of the features without limitations. And you can see the feature list. Yeah. So the free version really is just a sample to see whether it works on your device and whether it does the sort of things that you're looking for before you upgrade to the full version. So this is a completely different piece of software to Kaspersky, even though they do in many ways kind of the same thing. iKey obviously has its two different markets, the business market and the family market. And that's cool that they can use the same software in two different ways. To be honest, at 16 odd dollars a month for the family version, this does feel a little overpriced, but then it is very comprehensive in what it does. So if you want something that does everything, then this is the software for you. And you can head straight to their website and buy it up here through our affiliate link. As always, it's important to read the terms and conditions of the software and also make the person using the device aware that you are monitoring what they do. That would actually be a legal requirement in some places, not in others, know your local laws. But then if you're a business with more than 20 people out on the road that you're keeping track of, you probably have your own lawyers. So talk to them. Question of the day, iKey monitoring. Does this sound like something you might be interested in using? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video is useful to you, give it a thumbs up. 
The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here and to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.